This is one of the biggest secrets. This is honestly one of the reasons why my stuff has gone so well. And if you're ready for that, buckle up, because I'm really pumped to share it with you. This actually started when I first was watching, um, you know, I was, I actually was in college and I was trying to learn affiliate marketing. My first dollar on the internet actually came from affiliate marketing. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with that, affiliate marketing is simply taking somebody else's product, selling it, and then getting a piece of the action for it, getting a, some commission for the sale. And so what my buddy and I did is I actually, I was, I was going to a class I was so excited for. It was called internet marketing, the class was. And because of that, I was looking forward to it uh, for a very long time. I was very pumped to go to it. So we go to it and I'm sitting down and I remember the teacher sits down and he asks the class, guys, I know this is very challenging. Okay, here we go. Can anyone define SEO? All right, and I about died. I had been doing enough on the internet by that time to, to have known what SEO stands for. And I realized that what I was about to go through was like crawling compared to what I was already doing by that time. And I was getting bored. I got bored really, really quickly. So I drew a funnel. I didn't know that's what it was, but I drew one and I said, Mr. Teacher, Mr. Professor guy, I don't want to be here anymore which I didn't think I'd ever say that to a teacher. <laughs> I said, I don't wanna be here anymore. I wanna go do this, this, this instead. And I held up the picture of the funnel and I said, let me go do this instead. And, and I grabbed the other guy that looked like he's bored out of his mind that also was very familiar with internet business. And uh, he and I held our own class every day for, um, for three months. And we'd go for three hours a day holding our own class instead of going to class. And the entire objective was to make as much money on the internet as possible. <clears throat> We started with affiliate marketing and we went to a site. We found a guy's product that we decided that we would go and sell. And uh, we wanted to send traffic to it. And when, any, and when anyone bought, we would get a commission. So we set up a page, we set up a landing page. We hardly knew what that was. It was the first time I'd ever done anything like this. Nothing like ClickFunnels existed at that time. I set up a page um, or we set up a page together and then we spent three hours brainstorming the headline. And we found a video from somebody else that we went and we could use. And uh, whenever somebody clicks submit, they put their email in and the page would forward to our unique affiliate link. So that night I put $50 in ads on, um, on ad spend. I had never done anything like this. You know, at the time we had like no money. We were still poor, you know, I was college time obviously and uh, living in, um, these freezing little apartments and stuff. And so to spend $50 on ads was super scary. I remember I went to sleep and terrified. I was, I was nervous, like, man, 50 bucks. I don't know if I can spend $50, you know, like I was, anyways, things were really, you know, tight for us still. And I remember I went and I spent that $50. I woke up the next morning, scared out of my mind. And I, and I flew out of my bed, right? Ran to the computer, looked at my account and there in my account, was 50 more dollars. We had spent 50 and we made back $50. Now, at the time I was like, crap, this didn't work. <laughs> I was like, oh, dang it. It's too bad that didn't work. We didn't really make any money from that. <clears throat> In fact, we made nothing. But what I didn't notice at the time is that I now had 17 people on my list. One person bought and bought an upsell and that was 50 bucks. And I now had 17 people on my email list. That was my first experience ever with affiliate marketing. And I was like, crap, maybe I missed the dot-com bubble. It's not gonna work for me. And I stopped trying affiliate marketing. Little did I know, that's a big screaming success. And you might be like, Steven, you made no money. Stick with me for a moment. Well, fast forward, I kept doing things on the internet and I started learning how to drive even more traffic. And I started doing uh, projects for, for big companies. And um, our teachers didn't know what we were doing. They didn't, you know, we, we were kind of cowboys. For, there was no programs teaching what we were doing. We learned it on the side. And so we started doing client work that the teachers didn't know what to do things with. And, um, and I got hired out of college to work for Russell uh, Brunson uh, at ClickFunnels. And I'm sitting there. And if you guys heard the last episode, which is the first part, first episode in the series, I recommend that you go back and listen to it if you've not yet. I talked about how I didn't, I did not know that Russell was such a big shot in MLM. I had no idea. I thought he was the funnel guy, and that was it. I had no idea he had been doing funnel or uh, MLM and network marketing stuff for years successfully, very well. <clears throat> so I'm sitting there, and this guy, right? I'm sitting there next to Russell, and it's post college. 
and I wake up one day and go into, uh, I go into the office and I sit there and, and Russell, as soon as I walk in, he's like, dude, we're going to promote this guy's product today. And I want to go sell it to the, I want to go promote it to the list, but I kind of want to like make it really sexy. I want to turn up the value of, of what they get. I was like, okay, sounds good. What do you mean? He's like, well, what we're going to do is we're going to take the product, the main product, and we need to think about what people are still going to be struggling with after they buy it. It's like, okay. It was like, a, it was like, a, it was a training course on membership sites. He's like, what issues would people still struggle with in terms of selling a product, right? What would they still struggle with? Um, uh, uh, I mean, I'm sorry. What, what, what would they still struggle with if they buy a product around membership sites? And so we started listing out all this stuff and we're like, now, how can we solve that? And so what we did is, is we started creating bonuses that would specifically answer some of the, the, the fears that people had when they would buy this guy's product now. And, and what we decided to do was to give them away for free. If they bought the product through Russell's affiliate link, if you're like, Steven, where does this have to do with network marketing and MLM? Stick with me for a moment, especially those of you guys who are funnel builders who've been following me from the funnel world. Stick with me because I want to drop something on you here that's rather monumental that most people, for some reason, don't believe me on. I don't know why. Okay, but think, just listen to me for just a moment on this, okay? So here's the scenario. We make a page, right? And then when people go to the page, we say, hey, we want you to go buy this guy's product on the next page. And if you buy it through our link, we're going to give you these other few bonuses that will help you use that guy's product even better. We, they say yes, they click on the link, a pop-up shows up, they put their email address in, and then the page forwards to our affiliate link. Now, Russell did that, and I watched him time after time do that and, uh, and, and make a lot of money. <laughs> it worked extremely well. Like, Stephen, what, like, what does this have to do with network marketing? Um, guys, I want you to just bear with me here for just a moment on this. This was a big key experience for me because I started sitting back and as I started realizing that I wanted to go back and I wanted to try network marketing again, I wanted to be back in the MLM game, but I wanted to do it differently than I had been taught. And I talked about that last episode. What I realized is that, let's see, I'm going to go sell somebody else's product. And like, if I'm an affiliate marketer, I'm going to go sell somebody else's product. And when I sell it, I'm going to get a piece of commission for it, right? What, what does that sound like to you? <laughs> that is exactly, exactly the MLM model, right? That is exactly the network marketing model. You guys, this is one of the hardest things to admit in all MLM. And I want you to stick with me for just a moment. You own almost nothing inside of network marketing. You, you don't own your downline. You don't own your product. You can't make changes to it. You can in one swoop. I'm not, I'm not trying to freak you out here, but just it's the reality of the situation that we're in, right? You have no say on what goes on the packaging. You have zero say on what on, on, on a lot of things inside your downline. In fact, your position is rented. You rent your position. You don't own a position in your MLM. You're renting it. You have to pay a fee every year to keep it, okay? You own like nothing. In fact, most of the sales messages that you're taught to use in MLM, they're the exact same. What do you have control over? It's the exact same things you have control over in the affiliate marketing space. Here's the big kicker. Affiliate marketing and network marketing on the internet are the exact same model. I promote them the exact same way. I treat them the exact same way. There is no difference. Let's be real here. MLM and network marketing is nothing more than commission-based salesman. You're a commission-based salesperson who happens to have a downline that you get a little bit of an override on. Hmm, what else is that like? How is that any different than other salesmen? See, when I was a door-to-door -door sales guy and I'd walk around and I was I was selling pest control or I was selling security, right? Or I was selling, right? I, I've been a salesman for a lot of times in my life, a lot of periods in my life. And it's fun. You get to control your income, which I know a lot of everyone wants. But all the people that I brought in underneath me and when I was selling pest control, I got a, I got a piece of the action of what they sold. There's almost no difference, okay?